Hi bestie, how are you today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be giving you 14 summer romance recommendations. I know we're already pretty deep into summer, but I have to give you these recommendations because these are some of my favorite books of all time. I will say this, all of these books give off summer vibes. I don't necessarily know if some of them take place during the summer, but most of them do. And I will also say that these books have varying degrees of spice. And I will let you know there are two YA books in here and one closed door romance, but everything else is pretty spicy, I will say. Starting off with my absolute favorite author, Stephanie Archer. I'm going to do two books by Stephanie Archer for this summer romance recommendation. So the first one is The Wrong Mr. Right. This is a dual POV. It follows Hannah and Wyatt. And Hannah is a independent bookstore owner. She is a romance only bookstore owner. And Wyatt is a competitive surfer. And basically he agrees to be like her dating slash spice coach. It's, it's so good. It's like a friends to lovers, small town situation. This book is the reason I have a pretty shelf on my Goodreads. It is so fantastic. I have an entire video about just this series. It's completely spoiler free that dives into each book and each couple a little bit more. I will link that in the description below. The second recommendation is going to be Finn Roads Forever. This is the fourth book in the Queen's Cove series by Stephanie Archer. This is probably my favorite book in the entire series. It's dual POV. It follows Finn and Olivia, childhood friends to enemies to lovers, second chance romance. This is just done so well. The banter is fantastic in this book. And basically Finn and Olivia are competing to embarrass each other throughout this book. This was hilarious. Top tier read for me. I've talked about this book before and I will continue to talk about this book because Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan is one of my favorite contemporary romances. It's such a sweet story. Like it's so heartwarming you will cry but then also like turns up the spice. It's so, so good. So this is dual POV and we're following Archer and Brie. Brie moves to the small town of Peleon, Maine and becomes friends with like the town outsider, which is Archer. And they communicate with sign language. This is just, it's adorable. It's adorable, but then like, it's got one of those discreet covers. It's incredible. There's also like elements of suspense sprinkled throughout the book. This is the perfect book in my opinion. Next up is going to be the two YA picks for this list. So this is the summer of broken rules and yes it takes place during the summer. So in this book we are following Meredith and Meredith and her family go to Martha's Vineyard every year and this year somebody in her family is getting married so she's in the bridal party and the male main character Wit is a groomsman and her family every year plays a game of assassin so there's just so much strategy and like the the game part of it is just such a big part of this and yes there is romance in this book but it's not to the same level as the other books this was just like very enjoyable and just a great summer read and also in this book we have um meredith and wit are teaming up to you know take everybody else out and there can only be one winner that kind of thing this was just really adorable next is give me a sign this is a young adult summer themed coming of age slash romance. So it's not super heavy on the romance, but this is still a very cute story. This is following Lila as she becomes a camp counselor at the summer camp that she used to attend when she was younger. She forms a friendship with another counselor whose name is Isaac and he communicates primarily through sign language. So he teaches her sign language and this is just so cute, so heartwarming. I will say this, Isaac is one of the sweetest characters ever written, period, in a sentence. It was just a very, very cute story. Next up is one of my favorite books of all time, Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I love Lauren Asher, but this is the first book in the Lakefront Billionaires series. This is following Dahlia and Julian. It's a dual POV and they're fixing up a house together. It's a billionaire romance, no third act breakup. The banter's incredible. I love it. We also have Small Town, Healing, He Takes Care of Her, and Lauren Asher 
will deliver on the spice. She will give you a heavy dose of it. And this book was so good. I really, really loved the tension that's built up between Dahlia and Julian until like it finally snaps. Next up in the summer romance list is a book by Tessa Bailey, but it's not the one you think it is. It is Fangirl Down by Tessa Bailey. We're in golf season right now, so I had to add this to the list. So this is following Wells and Josephine. Wells is a professional golfer who's kind of losing his groove, so to speak. And Josephine is his number one fan and wants to be his caddy and just refuses to give up on this man. There's also great banter in this book. This is Grumpy Sunshine. Josephine has diabetes and Wells does everything in his power to learn everything possible about how he can best take care of her without letting her know that's what he's doing. And so that makes it that much cuter. So I just needed to tell you about this one. And it's a sports romance, but it's not like typical hockey romance or football romance. So like, this is like a nice breath of fresh air. Also, delivers on the spice. Next up is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I love Lauren Asher in case you didn't know that. I know I've already said it, but I really love Lauren Asher. And so this book definitely gives summer vibes. This is dual POV following Rowan and Zara. Rowan is one of the brothers that is supposed to inherit Dreamland, which is essentially Disney World and Zara works at Dreamland. So this is their journey to make all of the changes to the park that need to be made and he needs to get approval for these things so that he can get his portion of his grandfather's will. This is Boss and Employee, Grumpy Sunshine, really, really focused on the theme park in this one, not so much in the rest of the series. But if you are a Disney girly and you have not read the fine print, I think you would really, really like this one. Next up is the second book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. This is Terms and Conditions. This is following Declan and Iris. Declan enters into a marriage of convenience with his secretary, Iris. This was my first ever marriage of convenience and I fell in love. If you are a fan of a man who expresses himself in different languages, this is for you. This is also Grumpy Sunshine. We also have age gap here and a my wife moment. So this one was amazing. And as always, Lauren Asher just doesn't miss. This one might be my favorite in this trilogy. I really liked Cal, but I think this one might be my favorite. Speaking of Cal, we have the final offer. And this is the last book in the series is following Cal and Lana. This is a second chance romance. Alana is a single mom, so we get to see Cal become this father figure. This is a small town romance, and this is the same setting as a small town in Love Redesigned and also Love Unwritten, I'm pretty sure. I haven't read Love Unwritten yet, but Love Redesigned is in the same town as Final Offer. We also get healing in this book and like them healing from their past, Cal wanting to become a better man for Lana and her daughter, Cammie. This one is just so sweet. It really made me cry. This one was a tearjerker. This one gives me so much summer energy and I can't remember if it's actually during the summer, but still, Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. This is a closed door romance. So let me just get that out there. But this is following Annie and Will. This is the second book in the series. So Will is the bodyguard of the female main character in the first book. And so he's very overprotective of Annie. So we have small town, fake dating, grumpy sunshine. He takes care of her. This was, this was great. I really, really liked this book and I liked it more than the first one and I loved the first one. And I will just put this in the honorable mention category because I had Practice Makes Perfect. When in Rome is the first book. This one was amazing. Also closed door romance. This follows Amelia and Noah. Noah is the owner of the bakery in the small town. And Amelia is a pop star who just, she needs a break. So she goes to Rome, Kentucky and meets Noah. And it's just a very cute love story. Moving right along in the summer romance recommendations, my favorite Emily Henry book, People We Meet on Vacation. I am not a fan of Emily Henry's other books. I just don't think they're for me, but this one was so cute. It was the first Friends to Lovers that I had read. This follows Alex and Poppy and they go on a trip together every summer. So that's the perfect summer read. There are time jumps throughout this book. It'll be like now and then seven years later and then six years later, it goes back like that. So if you're not a fan of time jumps, this might not be the one for you, but I really enjoyed this. I thought that this was just so sweet. 
This next one has such a special place in my heart. This is Last Call at the Local by Sarah Grunder Ruiz, who was my middle school English teacher. This book was incredible. I have not read the first two books, but I don't think you really needed to read them to understand what was going on in the third book at all. This was dual POV and it follows Jack and Rain. I will say this, you have to listen to the audiobook. It's available on Spotify. The male narrator just makes the entire book. When he speaks with that Irish accent, I'm like, oh, okay. So Rain is visiting Ireland. When she's about to head home, she stops in a pub and is talking to a stranger at the pub, talking about all the improvements she would make to it. Come to find out that this person is Jack, who is the owner of the pub, who's like, okay, then I'll hire you to fix those problems. So he hires her and it's just their journey of fixing up the bar. We have ADHD and OCD representation in this book, which was just done so beautifully. The banter was great, found family, healing, and the spice was spicy. I simply cannot talk about the spice in other books and be giving you romance recommendations without mentioning the queen, Emily Rath herself. I will recommend this book till my last breath. This is a why choose hockey romance for sure, the spiciest book on the recommendations list. In this book, we have four POVs. So we have Rachel, Jake, Caleb, and Ilmari. So this book is quite thick, but that's because we have to get to know each of those characters and the journey that they go on. Rachel gets a job with the Jacksonville Rays, which is a hockey team, and falls in love with some hockey players. I'll say that much. This is not technically like the beginning chronologically. It starts off with That One Night, which is a prequel novella that I recommend you read before you get into this one. They're both on KU. All of these books are on KU. There are several scenes in this book that just live absolutely rent free in my mind and just like play on repeat. I love this book. I honestly should do a reread pretty soon. Book club? Maybe. Emily Rath is just so, so talented. Also, another honorable mention, her Why Choose Regency Romance series, the Second Son series, it's Beautiful Things and His Grace the Duke, both are so good. Also on Kindle Unlimited, you have to read them. So that wraps up all of the summer romance recommendations. Let me know what you're reading this summer in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.